she had no world of her own after her marriage i don't think many husbands are blessed with such a wife so i was fortunate to have a lady who dwelt around me built my dream bigger remind as an ambassador for my brand saying no gyan on velumani's 4g we motivate you through anecdotes which are from dr velumani's personal life his professional journey the man behind thyro care dr velumani the art Hello. of parenting is what we're going to be talking about today yes sir sir um, parenting means for me in my head is parents holding a danda and saying ye karo wo karo or parents coming and hugging you kissing you what are you going to take us through am i right in my head or am i wrong in my head you know, this is a modern women who believe that mother means you have to do n number of things actually mothers should allow children to grow mothers should watch children to grow mothers should not facilitate children to get more marks do better things my mother absolutely a wonderful lady had five children no income and she reared two buffaloes and she had time only to take care of the buffaloes not the children so children were left unattended we faced our own challenges daily problems everything we sorted out i think the mothers when they allow the children to solve all their problems on their own make the children very powerful even at a very early stage you know i do see you know like i am a father of a 2 year old thankfully my wife is exactly the way you want us to be which is let the child be free let them learn from their mistakes but there are a lot of new age parents who are instead extra sensitive to everything the child does no maybe because my mother had five children she did not focus much on children today's mother has only one child nothing else to focus on and there was a situation where five children and only two father and mother today's situation is one child two parents and four grandparents so six of them focusing on one child is pampering so this is unfortunately happening in my case fortunately my we were poor so there was nothing gadgets Uh, which are spoiling and there was no television no distractions so if you ask me today if i am very powerful it is only because my mother did not do anything for me now this because is, your mother didn't do anything you are where you are no this is an antithesis absolutely people Surprise will, me, people, will me. people will wonder what me, this man is telling but there is a song of mgr in 1970s by the way mgr is a superstar from the 60s 70s of the south indian film industry and the song goes like this in english all children by default at birth are creators all children by default at birth are creators if they become consumers it is because of the parents and grandparents very strong communication and i believe good neighbor of parents unnecessarily pamper let me tell you child does not demand love and the child need not be pampered and hugged and kissed and created an artificial environment everybody is dependent on me don't raise children's expectation too much we want our child to be a very powerful personality that doesn't mean that we should create something in him so that he starts expecting things your parents didn't do anything for you Do you hold it against them or you're thankful mm, to them I am so thankful to them that they allowed me to do things on my own like they never told me which subject I should pick up they never asked me which degree I should do they never told me what profession I should choose they never asked me which girl I should marry on in other words total freedom I don't think see though my parents were less educated 
they are the most forward parents how because they allowed the children to follow their wishes let me tell you a they did not pamper me b they did not overfeed me c they did not sit next to me and coach me next one is they never chased me for marks the next one is they never created fear in me they created confidence in me courage in me the next my parents did not make special roads for their children they made sure the child can run and walk in any road the last but not the least they were so so forward thinking they never forced us to see the world through their eyes they started looking at the world through my eyes what wonderful parents are they how was your childhood like in a day how would you summarize those moments would you go to school directly would you get up would you fend for your own breakfast how was it oh it's very interesting my i had a, a small uh, farm which did not truly really give adequate uh, what you call as produce but that farm i had to attend to house is here farm is there school is there 2 kilometers this side i have morning i have to go come back home give uh, take that half breakfast go to school come back and then once again go to farm and come back and then sleep mind you this drill i was getting accustomed to at an age of 5 7 which means parents prepared me to struggle in life and parents made sure that i am i am not worried of i am not scared of challenges you know when a man fails when you become shorter than the challenge and my parents made me to be taller than any possible challenge it's very difficult to explain but i must tell you if today i am successful it is only because of my so parents. when you failed could you manage to go back to your parents and say i failed what do i do they don't understand what it is so when you failed what did you do i myself uh, sit and analyze and improve it i never went back to my parents they never knew that i'm struggling wherever it is good news i tell to my parents difficult things i managed by myself and let me tell you that as parents they just ignored the children and they never came to school there was no parent teacher association my father does not know what was happening and i'm very happy finally that i am successful recently i brought my parents to my uh, my home when they were climb, um, uh, climbing the lift they found employees car some 25 of them standing they felt all the 25 cars are my own my own only and they went and told their friends and relatives my son has 25 cars <laughs> they don't know how many zeros i have made but mm. do they know how successful you are they know how successful you are because the buildings the employees the company and everything is telling but so great my parents have not consumed even 0.01% of what i have created they've not consumed anything they actually. remain as frugal as they were so what have you learned from your parents my parents taught me frugality how to live within the means in life you have two options one is either you can act rich or you can act poor if you act poor you will live happily and if you act rich you will suffer my parents have taught me how to act poor so frugality simplicity and i don't think uh, uh, i have even today moved out of that frame of simplicity and my parents have taught me in life what is uh, trust truth and transparency coming back to your earlier point the statement they taught you how to act poor what does that mean it means uh, you know you can always mm, borrow pay emi and drive a car when you don't deserve it i have never borrowed in my life my mother had never borrowed in her life so i believe that this is fundamental values you can wait for till you make your money and then you live your life so i haven't borrowed and the borrowing normally people do to act rich loans won't you not taken anything let me put it this way heaven in life is clutter free brain fear free mind and emi free life so emi is something which people should come out of get rid of 
because all the stress in life is because of EMIs. You have four children, right? You obviously carved your own niche. You ran on a road which had a lot of potholes in it. What about the other other brothers and sisters? All they're part of my journey. Today they are also uh, willing to take any risk. So if you ask me if I am X, they are half X and they are equally powerful. Maybe I got amplified and my amplification is because of my wife. She made me powerful. She catalyzed my abilities and she made me to achieve things. So today they are also equally powerful. They also came from a small village. They are also equally frugal. Yeah. They also act poor. So this is family values which I believe is brought in by my mother. So from a small village, you all actually got into Mumbai University. Yes, at an, on one given point of uh, time, I think it was in the year 1992 or 93. All four of us were postgraduate students in Mumbai University. A man who is from a small village which is not there in a taluk map, his entire family together in doing a post graduation in Mumbai University. Wow, round of applause for that. All my mother's success and I hats off to her patience, perseverance. That's about your four family members. But what I notice myself is when I step out, I am a father of a young child and I talk to a lot of parents and they come and tell me, you know what? Someone, a teacher scolded my child in school and then they go to the teacher and say, how could you scold my child in school? How could you give my child a punishment of running four rounds around the ground? Don't you think that's way too much overprotection towards the child from the parents? Let me tell you what my father did. Yeah. One day he asked me, do you want to swim? I said, yes, I want to swim. Come, I will mm, teach you swimming. So there was a deep well. My father asked me to go step by step. There were 25 steps to touch the water. I was going step by step. After the fourth step, my father who was coming behind me, kicked me into the water. And his philosophy is, no one dies until left for half an hour unattended. I knew once you are inside, you will learn and come out. Now, that is the power of the father. So my parents wanted us to suffer in life so that future becomes very powerful. So today you will see everybody hand holding even while walking. My father kicked me inside the water. So what I want to summarize is, please allow the child to stand on own, walk on own, fall on own, learn on own. You practice the same thing with your two children mm -hmm. who probably will carry the legacy forward of Thyrocare. Do you do that with them? Do you allow them to keep falling, falling, falling? Because it might affect your business as well if they fall. No, I think once in childhood people fall, in adulthood they less fall. So my children also were son of a, not a poor parent, but son of government servant when they were born. So they have not got used to that luxury of sitting in a car, moving in a car 24-7. Today also I don't have a car for my children. They don't have that luxury like an ordinary rich, like rich. You don't have a car for your children? My children are Ola children. They travel by Ola. So that is their frugality. So I have taught frugality for them. So I don't think if parenting is done well in the first 20 years of life, that individual will ever suffer. When you look at your wife as a parent, you as a parent, what are the things you have seen your children go through from a distance and you said, wow, I'm glad this happened to them because that will make them stronger. I think um, I did not know which class my children were studying. Very rare. I think today's parents are very, very can conscious about it. Today's mothers lose 5 kilos when the son crosses 10th standard. They lose 10 kilos when the son crosses 12th standard. Me and my wife left my children cool and we didn't bother about what percentage of marks they are scoring. And my, par my children tell today, my parents gave us freedom. And I don't want every child to get freedom. No pressure. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, the art of parenting from Dr. Velumani. Remember, allow them to fall, give them freedom, and most importantly, don't keep hand-holding them because if they don't fall, they'll never rise. Right? If you don't fall, you don't learn, be it business or be it life. Wow, sir.
I have fallen so much, but hopefully I'm learning a little bit sitting with you right now. Thank right. you so much, Dr. Velumani. The art of parenting. Remember, keep watching Velumani's 4G. This is our way of empowering you. We're not preaching. We're just talking from the heart. Hope you evolve as a person just the way I am listening to this man called Dr. Velumani. Until next time, Velumani's 4G. Thank you.